Hey everyone, welcome to the 2025 Shanghai Motor Show. I am joined here by Adrian van Hooydonk, BMW Group Head of Design. Of course, we've talked so many times in the past, but now we reconnect once again to talk about this car. So it is not a production series car, so we got to establish that. And this car, it's not really all about design. But with that being said, maybe we can talk about the new class design and what's coming sure. in the future. Uh, well, always a pleasure talking to you. Same. Um, and yeah, this is uh, more than a concept car. It's a prototype. It's actually a test car uh, for ultimate testing, as it says. Uh, what we've done here is we've incorporated a lot of the drive uh, train technology uh, and computer technology of the Neue Klasse in this test rig. Uh, it is actually very powerful. Uh, and uh, what it does have is already the electronic control system that our Neue Klasse vehicles are going to have. Uh, and uh, that's a system that we developed in-house, uh, where uh, in the past uh, the drivetrain, uh, the gearbox, the brakes would have their own control units. In the Neue Klasse we're merging this into one clever computer uh, that is going to control all these functions. And um, two nights ago, uh, you were there I believe, this vehicle demonstrated what that means. Uh, it means that uh, the, electronic in, uh, the electronic control decisions are made much faster, so the car's responsiveness uh, handling uh, is that much more precise. So it really is going to be the ultimate, ultimate driving machine. If you okay. So since you're in charge of design, we're going to go back a little bit towards the design area. Clearly it's inspired by the Vision Neue Klasse sedan that we've seen a few years, yeah. a couple of years ago. But yeah. tell me, how did you start with that idea in mind and kind of bolt this up, make it like, you know, so, so express? What was the idea behind using this particular body language to show the heart of joy, basically? Yeah, well, uh, we knew that uh, for this car, Maybe we're, we're, going, walk to, around, see the front uh, we're going to put a lot of uh, power uh, in there, horsepower, uh, with a lot of uh, uh, electric energy. So um, we based the design exactly like like you said, on the concept car that you already know, the Vision Neue Klasse. It is just a little bit wider. It has a couple of uh, air outlets because this is a real running prototype that can actually drive super fast. So you then need to deal with heat uh, coming off the drivetrain. That's why we have these slots. Uh, we designed these, I think, really interesting uh, wheels uh, which can light up and can actually show you, uh, you've seen it in the show, uh, whether the car is braking and recuperating energy uh, or whether it is giving uh, propulsion to the wheels. Other than that, it is very much like you know the car, like the Neue Klasse show car has been. Uh, we've built in the panoramic vision display um, with some reduced content because this is uh, really meant uh, as a driving prototype. But by and large, uh, this is how uh, the Neue Klasse show car looked with a little bit more track width in front and rear. Is this like a designer's dream to bring those fenders out? Always. Uh, <laughs> but uh, a little bit later when we show the production car, mm -hmm. you will see a very uh, healthy relationship between uh, the side of the wheel uh, and the seat pillar, so there will be a very good shoulder. What we have here also is some aerodynamic where again air comes out uh, that is just done for this prototype uh, because with the driving maneuvers that we did and the heat that that will all generate in the drivetrain uh, you need to make sure that that heat can come out and that's why the car looks probably as extreme uh, as it does right here it really does and then of course i've learned about the five impellers the fans that are in the car it's 18,000 newton meters of torque which is insane people mm. don't realize that but from your perspective from the design perspective what kind of uh, uh, things you brought in to keep that downforce you know low to the ground basically aside from the impellers there's something on the design that helps with the yeah it's, it's a little bit uh, of race car technology mm -hmm. of course when you have that much power yeah. you need to generate the downforce like you say so um, you see this here which is uh, a useful uh, air coming out there and then the the strong uh, diffuser which is also uh, a blown diffuser so there's air coming through mm -hmm. so those are uh, some elements that we know from our racing uh, technology that we've incorporated in this car uh, because we wanted to build something very extreme that has much more power than uh, you normally need as a customer but uh, it can uh, actually bring that power to the ground as you saw uh, in our demonstration yeah, it's uh, pretty impressive ago. Let's see if we can open the door, if it's open or not. Maybe we just uh, briefly yeah. take a look. I guess yeah. the one that I saw in November wasn't really 
that polished, but I guess that's the steering wheel that you've been talking about in your presentation also. So that's something that it's likely we will see in production series car. I mean, that's the idea of the panoramic display and all of that, right? Yeah, yeah. The geometry of the steering wheel is going to be very close uh, like this. Uh, the overall interior as well, like I said, with the panoramic vision, uh, the buttons that you have uh, for your thumbs uh, to operate uh, many of the functions are going to be exactly in that position. And the steering wheel is going to be very grippy. So you see these molds uh, for, for your fingers, for your thumbs. Uh, that has been studied very carefully. Many test kilometers have gone into the development of the steering wheel and all Neue Klasse vehicles will have something like that. Like that. Why, why the choice of that fabric? You're trying to yeah. showcase something there or just a... This is of course, uh, uh, like I said, a, a, a quite uh, expressive demonstration vehicle mm -hmm. built for, for the event here in Shanghai. We're going to use fabric, um, uh, not uh, like this. Uh, and um, we, dis we just didn't want this to look like a, like a workhorse. It really is a workhorse. Yeah. And it has seen quite a lot of action. Um, <laughs> it is driving every day here in Shanghai uh, with passengers on board. So we have to make sure that also the passengers have a roll cage, have a four-point harness, uh, because the, the driving experience that they get is actually quite extreme. Yeah. And from what I've been told, uh, they're enjoying it very much. Yeah, I also did also. It was fantastic. Uh, if I would have done a few more laps, I would have thrown up. It was ridiculous fast. Probably, yeah. But uh, another designer's dream, I guess, it's the fact that you can actually hide the door handle right there. Yeah. That's probably, that's, very, that's a very clever integration, honestly. It's so, so cool. And then, um, Maybe we look at the front because we, mm. we've talked about it like in the past, mm -hmm. you know, that you're using our light to emphasize the design. Like at the front, you're changing the design language a little yeah. bit. And I don't think it's a secret anymore that the upcoming models will have something similar. We've already seen the camouflage cars, uh, iX3 yeah. and whatever, it's coming. But this is here to stay, right? So maybe yeah, yeah. We, we bring this point back once again. Why are you using this light? Why are you changing the design language, you know, once again? No, yeah, I mean, uh, the daytime running light has already become a very important part of our design identity in all of our cars today. And in, the, in this car and also in the other concept vehicles that you now know from Neue Klasse, you see where we're going with that, uh, with that daytime running light signature. Yeah. Of course it is used to express our brand identity uh, in a very new way. Uh, on the uh, Neue Klasse Vision X, uh, the SUV, it's, uh, the kidneys are in a more vertical orientation also illuminated, connected uh, to, uh, to the uh, main uh, lamps. Mm -hmm. And for our limousines, um, we will use a more horizontal arrangement uh, of the grille. Of course, also illuminated, also uh, in combination uh, with our other lights. Uh, inside there, and you don't see that uh, uh, just yet, um, we have hidden a lot of the new sensors that we are going to need in the future for our uh, autonomous driving capability. So our new fascia is uh, designed in a way, I think, somewhat reminiscent of mm -hmm. our past, yeah. uh, where we also used to have a connection mm -hmm. between the round lamps and the, and the kidney-shaped grill. Uh, then it was done in chrome. In the near future, it's going to be done with light. But it is also an intelligent uh, face because it incorporates all these new sensors. And altogether, I think it will be a very fresh and new uh, expression of the, of the BMW brand identity. Yeah, very fascinating. I mean, honestly, if you look at the current design language, you can see that you try to design the car like around the lighters and all these things, you know, and you can see that you're trying to play around with the geometry and this current generation to hide some of the sensors, which is not always easy, mm -hmm. but it's good to hear that you can actually hide it on behind this so you have a clean design language. Very, very interesting. Well, overall, um, as you know, uh, our design language is going to be cleaner, so we will use fewer lines. The lines that we have are quite sharp. And then, of course, when you do a very clean design, details and the uh, lamps of course uh, are very important for the for the facial expression of the car the icons like the kidneys or things in the interior uh, are becoming more and more important and I think uh, with that new design language um, we've managed to clean things up but we've also managed to make design that is very strong in character very iconic and even in China where you see new cars every day I think it will stand out uh, as a BMW. 
it's yellow, the new black, or? <laughs> Could well be. This is a special color, actually, that we did for this vehicle. What's, because what's the name? Do you have a name for it? Or? No, we no? don't have okay. a name for it. It's actually fluorescent also. Okay. So when you put uh, a lot of light on it for a while, and then you take it away, yeah. uh, it glows, it glows. Uh, in the dark. Yeah. Uh, and we did it especially because we knew that our show mm. uh, for this vehicle was going was to be yeah, done night at time. night. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, against the backdrop of the Shanghai mm -hmm. skyline, I think that was very impressive. Of course, in combination uh, with these LED uh, rims, that was very cool, I think. Not to dwell too much on colors, but what, what's the trend today on, the, on colors? I guess you've gone from like, you know, lots of blues, then to lots of greens, purple. Is there like a trend coming back when it comes to exterior paint colors? Uh, it will keep evolving, yeah. but uh, what you see here is, uh, for instance, a matte finish. Okay. And that's something that I think we were one of the first to, to bring sure. out uh, mm -hmm. several years ago. And now we've seen that that trend has not gone away. Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually only getting stronger. So also in Neue Klasse, mm -hmm. we will offer a certain amount of matte finishes. Mm -hmm. As a designer, um, I like it because I believe it shows the shapes uh, even better than when you have a high gloss paint. Because the high gloss paint reflects the whole environment. Sure. This does not, it just shows the shape. But of course we will offer high gloss as well. And uh, yeah, uh, stay tuned for, uh, for our latest colors. Of course the Neue Klasse will come with a new set of colors as well. Okay. Last point, because I know we have to wrap it up. Uh, I've seen it on the Skytop concept, the new door handle. I'm assuming that's something that we'll see on the production series. I'm gonna tell you the feedback that I got on this one from people they've seen it. They're concerned that uh, the winter time will be difficult to open the door if you have this shape and it's icy and all of that. Is this something that's feasible for production to have this particular opening and shape? Let me just say this, um, I like it from a design point of view because it actually leaves the body side completely clean, mm -hmm. nothing. Um, it works electronically okay. so you don't have to put a lot of effort. And then uh, lastly I would say BMW would never do anything that doesn't work in the winter, right? Yeah. We are in Munich, we have winters yeah. here. We need to make sure that things work. Yeah, yeah that's what people say. Like, what if you know run out of electricity and it's electronic, you can't open it, so you need to use the key and all that. But I'm assuming there is a clever integration somewhere that we will see very, very soon. Well, thank you so much. Um, I look forward to seeing the car in uh, September or even before that. But um, yeah, thank you once again for taking the time to talk My to pleasure. us. Appreciate Always it. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Thank you so much. You. Yeah. Guys, thanks for watching. I will see you very soon with more Neue Classic content.